Here's your weather video for this Sunday, September the 5th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And uh, a week ago today, we were talking about a very dangerous and turned out to be very destructive hurricane uh, on the central Louisiana Gulf, or the southeastern Louisiana Gulf Coast. And um, we're going to be talking about a lot of tropics in this one too, but um, nothing like that uh, in our future, we hope. And it was on uh, this date back in 1925, 106 degrees at Birmingham. That ties the second hottest reading we've ever had. Um, again, on September 6, 1925, we would be at 106. But down the road in Bibb County at uh, Centerville, um, they recorded a high temperature of 112. And that's the hottest reading ever in the state of Alabama, that 1925 heat wave. Uh, one of the worst ever, too. But uh, nothing like that now. Uh, partially and thanks to this large uh, area of low pressure in the upper atmosphere over southern Canada, the Great Lakes region, putting a trough over the eastern United States, giving us some drier air. Beautiful blue skies on Saturday. It well, was warm, but uh, we're enjoying these lower dew points to give us a little bit lower temperatures at night. That's going to be kind of coming to an end. Forecasts for the tropics is very busy. Watching Hurricane Larry there, about a thousand miles east of the leewards. What will it do? And keeping a very close eye on disturbance 91L. Now emerging off the Yucatan Peninsula into the southern Gulf of Mexico could become a tropical storm later this week and uh, potentially affect the northern Gulf Coast, Hurricane Larry this morning, 1,300 miles southeast of Bermuda. Top winds 120 miles an hour will um, uh, become possibly a Category 4 hurricane uh, at about 150 miles an hour later today or on Monday passing near or just east of Bermuda, Wednesday night and Thursday. That, that island nation will be on alert for the potential for a major hurricane. Our GFS is the model of choice here. Cold front to the north of us here in Alabama on this Sunday. We start off here high and dry, increasing clouds during the day, though. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms showing up later this afternoon. Temperatures in the middle and upper 80s across the area. Those showers and thunderstorms will die down a bit tonight. Can't rule out an overnight shower, though, with the front nearby. Temperatures uh, during the overnight hours will be in the upper 60s to near 70. Now, by Monday, that front is settling down into the northern part of the state, north of I-20. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will again light up on the radar during the afternoon hours, and um, we'll deal with those uh, into the evening hours Monday night. By Tuesday, that front is still there. Enough of a boundary to produce another round of showers and thunderstorms with the heating of the day. But by Tuesday, we're going to be watching 91L. It's uh, apparently developing a closed circulation, according to the GFS, over the central Gulf of Mexico, uh, possibly becoming a tropical depression, and uh, probably becoming a tropical storm, um, or, or potentially becoming a tropical storm, uh, near the Louisiana coast late Wednesday. Mainly a rain event, though. This, is not, this does not look like a big wind event. But uh, heavy rain from southeastern Louisiana across the coast of Mississippi, Alabama, and into northwest Florida, something they do not need. Thursday, maybe even a little more developed, uh, surprisingly. Uh, trough pushing the front down into central Alabama, most of the uh, moist air to our southeast. Rainfall chances will be southeast of I-59. Uh, this low is now centered somewhere between Pensacola and Fort Walton, Destin at, the, at that time on Thursday. By Friday, though, um, that system has uh, moved across southern Georgia, is located near uh, Charleston, South Carolina, getting ready to move out. You see Alabama high and dry, setting stage for a beautiful weekend next weekend. Uh, lots of sunshine, fairly mild temperatures, and uh, comfortable overnight readings. But looky here, uh, Friday the 10th shows uh, showing a big system, well, not a big system, but a disturbance uh, with a big area of disturbed weather uh, east of the Yucatan. And uh, by Saturday, that system develops into a tropical storm and is affecting uh, northeastern Mexico there around Cozumel. That's not a good position for us, we know, from historical hurricanes. When they get to about right here, they're a potential problem for Alabama uh, and for the central Gulf Coast. By Sunday, well-developed tropical storm, says the GFS. This is not a poured-in concrete forecast, but there have been enough signals lately that I would worry about this. Um, especially with the, MG, the MJO going into the, to the phase it is. By Monday the um, 13th, uh, we've got a little hurricane here. Uh, South Louisiana coast getting ready to make landfall. It probably moves inland uh, late Monday night, early Tuesday um, the 14th. 
centered south of Alexandria, Louisiana. Here, Alabama, still fairly high and dry. We get into a warm period here with a lot of substance from the developing system. And uh, as we get into Wednesday the 15th, that system near El Dorado, Arkansas. Alabama, though, is uh, beginning to get the, uh, the strong flow of Gulf moisture, lots of showers and thunderstorms around. Can't rule out some tornadoes by that point, but again, that's if that position is here or over Mississippi, anywhere to the west of Alabama, we'll have to worry about that. We got plenty of time to check out that forecast. National Blend of Model shows fairly, temp uh, fairly typical temperatures for late summer here in Alabama. Uh, highs in the middle and upper 80s, overnight lows generally in the upper, se upper 60s and 70, but after the uh, Gulf system moves by Thursday, We'll uh, get some drier air in here again. That nice weekend with overnight lows Friday morning around 63, 64 Saturday, and 65 on Sunday. And we'll take that. This is uh, seven days of precipitation off the GFS here across north and central Alabama. Somewhere around a half to one inch. No real heavy amounts. Heavier amounts to the south, though. You can see that tropical system uh, dumping six to ten inches of rain. Southeastern Mississippi southwestern Alabama, southeastern Alabama, northwestern Florida. Hopefully it misses the New Orleans area uh, and all those areas that have been so hard hit by Hurricane Ida this past week all the way up into the northeast. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, uh, September 5th. Couldn't get my camera to work today, so you didn't have to look at my ugly mug. Uh, but I'll have uh, forecast notes updated on the blog, uh, radar updates for any showers and thunderstorms that develop later this afternoon. James will be back with the holiday schedule tomorrow. One video, two videos, Tuesday through Friday. Scott will be here Saturday, and I'll see you next Sunday when we're probably going to be talking about another system in the Gulf. So um, with that, that will be interesting. But as I always tell you till we get that chance again, please keep an eye to the sky because you'll always find something fun to look at.